What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of what I am officially calling ZooCraft. After many, many technical difficulties on the actual Zawa server, I have decided to start a new single player world. And guys, I am in love with this area. I spawned right over there in what was called a seasonal forest and there were all sorts of red and orange yellow leaves. It was absolutely beautiful. But I walked over here and I saw the ponds and I saw the, the rivers, ocean, the, all the trees, all the greenery. And I thought, this is just so beautiful, too beautiful in fact, to pass up. So this is our new home and where we will build, be building our new zoo. Maybe with these guys in there, who knows. But for now, since we are technically starting a new world, we kind of need to do the Minecraft thing, you know, grindy, grindy, dig for diamonds, uh, cut trees, that sort of thing. So I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera because I don't want to bore you guys. I really want this series to be about the animals and about building the enclosures. So I'm going to go ahead and do some grinding, cutting down some, uh oh, cutting down some trees. Hopefully I don't die. So anyways, I'm going to, oh my God, he got me right in the eye, right in the head. So anyways, guys, I am going to do a little grinding, chop down some trees and find myself a home. Is that a village? That's a village. That'll come in handy. We'll check that out later. For now, let's get some grinding done. All right, guys, a little bit of a progress update. I have made myself a little bed chamber here, and I'm absolutely in love with this. Uh, accent wall to match along with the floor pattern. Uh, this right here is a new log called Ebony Wood that was added with this mod pack. And as you can see, I love the stuff. It's absolutely gorgeous. I was able to get covered in iron. Um, didn't find too much for diamonds. I got 10 diamonds while we were diamond mining down there. And I guess I'll just put those, I guess I'll put these in the chest. I wanna make, okay, I'm gonna put four in the chest because I wanna make an ax and a pickaxe. Apparently the, uh, the place, the biome that we're in is uh, just full of emeralds. There was emeralds everywhere. So I want to get this pickaxe enchanted and then definitely go back down and get us a whole bunch of emeralds because our next step right now is we're going to head over to that village because I need to get some enchanting going and hopefully we can get a villager breeder and get some librarians. Maybe even get that mending book. Oh, that would be so nice if we could get a mending book. Anyways, let's head over to the village and see what they got. Alright guys, we are here at the village. And, uh... Oh boy, hey, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you... He's replacing all the carrots with wheat. Why are you doing that? Oh my gosh, they're both doing it. Oh, man. Alright, guys. We were able to salvage some of these, uh... Some of these crops before the farmers just replanted everything with wheat. I don't know why they were doing that. Why wheat? You could have harvested the carrots and planted more carrots. So, I'm gonna take whatever I can from this place before they end up just replacing it all. Okay guys, so I went back to the base and grabbed a whole bunch of my string and a whole bunch of sticks. Oh, let's, let's get in the house. So, shoot, 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 shoot. I need a crafting table. It's gotta be one around, right? Oh my, zombies everywhere. <laughs> So if we do things in do things if we put the string and the sticks in this formation we get animal nets and we can use these animal nets for creatures like this who have no eyes or we can use it on the villagers 
to save yeah. these guys from the zombies. But not only are we trying to save these guys from the zombies and the skeletons and the creepers and such. Oh, this guy's on the run. Oh, he was quick. Oh, everybody's hiding out in here. Oops. Oh, sorry. Okay, that one had a villager already in it. Okay, guys, we got villagers and we are heading back to the base. I can't grab all of them because I only have like five nets. So I'm probably going to make a few trips. Just because I do want to grab all of them. That was scary. Oh my gosh, three of them just following me like that. I'll take this rose first because I'm going to need red dye later. I can't pick it up. Inventory must be full. It is so dangerous out here at night. Well guys, I've been hard at work. I got myself iron armor. We got ourselves a sheep farm down there. As well as a villager breeder. You can't see them right now because they're not loaded in. But there's a whole bunch of them over there. And... Hold on. Our nether portal. And on the other side of this is our trading hall. And like I said, I have been hard, hard at work. And I even got... Mending for 18 emeralds. The only problem is I need a book and I don't Wait a minute. I have bookshelves. I can break the bookshelves Oops. I'll fix that later So while trading with all these guys I was able to get a lot of Bookshelves all sorts of different bookshelves as well because you can use the chisel which uh, my chisel broke I'll have to show you guys that later but Right now, I want to go on a mission for an apple. I, I really need an apple plus a dirt bucket, I guess. So, um, let's see. What I'm trying to get is this apple pip. And to get the apple pip, I need an apple and a dirt bucket. And I guess the dirt bucket is just a bucket plus dirt so we can do that easily but we don't have any apples so the main plan here is to eventually get kibble because with kibble I can make the data book and the data book is going to tell us everything that we need to know about all the animals in this land. So, we need an apple tree, therefore we need an apple. Not sure where we can find an apple. And this could be a long journey. Oh, I also got this backpack. I got it from one of the villagers while I was trading. How cool is that? So I can press... Gosh, I am just a mess. I can't figure out my buttons today. If I press B, it brings me into this where I've been hiding my diamond sword. And I think we can put the picks... The pick and the axe up there. I'll put the emeralds and the name tags. I was trying to name all the villagers. Just so I could... Uh, so I don't have to go into their inventories to see what they're selling. So, like the mending guy, I plan to name mending. And the plan here is we want to come and get these monkeys, guys. I found these monkeys over here and they've just been chilling. So, I want to grab them, bring them back to the- Ooh, there's a skeleton over there. Bring them back to the base, we'll start building them an exhibit. I'm not sure what exactly a monkey exhibit would look like. Oh, this is not good. We've got two witches here. Who missed me? I only have I don't have cows or pigs, so my my main source of food so far has been sheep. And I didn't set up any wheat farm or anything. I've just been running back and forth from the village to my base. Which works out because I've been trying to spawn villagers anyways. Oh my gosh, is this a mesa? Oh wow, it looks so cool. 
I see a palm tree over here and I think I want to get that. Oh, wow. Lions? Yep, lions and zebras, elephants. That's a tiger? I think I spy gorillas over there, that's pretty cool. I see absolutely massive trees over here. So there's gotta be something good. Those things are huge! Whoa, look at these guys! What are those? Moose? A platypus! Oh, he's so cute! Can I- Oh, there we go. Oh, look at him sleeping. That is adorable. What is that? Is that another moose? Is that an albino moose? What's over there? Zebra? Oh. Guys, this wasn't planned, but I, th I think we might have to get these moose. How can I possibly pass up an albino anything? Really, that's like... If these were Pokemon, that'd basically be a shiny. Where's the other net? There it is. Oh, hello. I'm going to start with you. Okay. Okay, we can't capture them. We need Trank Darts. Oh, he's coming for me. I made a mistake. That was a mistake. I am sorry. So, maybe one day we'll come back for them. For now, I see a koala. And he's mine now. Ha 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 ha. And spiders can go away. Okay, it's very dangerous, so I can set this down and bring out a sleeping bag. And we will sleep on this. Hopefully get rid of some of these mobs. Uh, all these... All these mobs just hanging out under the trees. I'd like to cut those trees down. I'm gonna cut this guy down because he looks like he's gonna give me a lot of wood. Oh my god, look at all these... All these seeds. Oh, my computer's going really slow. That, I guess, took a lot of pr processing power. Oh my gosh, guys. We got a stack and a half of wood just then. And almost 30 seedlings. That's insane. So, guys, after a long, long journey, I return home without any apples because it occurred to me that this guy right here can just sell me some apples look at that 49 apples just like that so if I take dirt plus bucket I get dirt bucket and if I take apple plus dirt I get apple pip there And hopefully, it will grow big and strong and produce us lots of apples. Uh, I'm just gonna make three. So now if I take the kibble plus a book... We get the data book, guys! We got it! So now if we take the data book... And it's dark out. Gotta sleep. Alright guys, so we got the data book. If we take it and we click on this elephant, it tells us that it is a female Variant zero, this is a relaxed elephant, and it's tamed with pachyderm kibble, bred with pachyderm vial. These are all the things that'll enrich it, an enrichment ball, hanging ball, tire swing, and a brush. These are the things that it eats, so it looks like it eats all sorts of things. 
Death is sad, but it's a fact of life. Elephants know this too, and when a member of their herd dies, they stop to mourn their friend and bury the lost member with dust and branches once it's time to move on. That is so sweet. They know death happens to other animals too, and they'll do the same for a hurt or dead creature they find in the savanna. These sensitive... Dude, well, that, was, that was rude. I'm just trying to read about you. Where was I? Uh, these sensitive, intelligent creatures are often poached for their ivory tusks and the rest of them left behind. So sad. Uh, scientific name, there you go. Luxodonta africana. Endangered species from Africa. So this is an African elephant. She is a female. And that's all we really need to know. Endangered species, help out the elephants. Stop taking them for their tusks. It's not cool, guys. Not cool. Oh, I don't like him. Man, they are, ev they are everywhere. We got our data book, guys. It is time to catch these monkeys. We got a female variant 3. This is a serious monkey who needs to be trained, tamed with monkey kibble. So I don't think they need to be tamed in order to catch them. Or what was the trank dart? We need to get ourselves a trank gun. I need to look into how to make one of those. So that was a female. What we want now is a male. This is a male variant 3, but I want to see if there's another male around, because we got a female variant 3. So if we can get a different variant, that would be awesome. Alright, this is the only male I'm seeing, so let's grab him. Okay guys, we are going to make a spider monkey exhibit, and for that I'm going to need, I got some redwood here, I'm going to need some glass. Ooh, um, what about dirt, what do we have? We got sandy dirt, and we got one grass block, some gravel maybe. I think that's it. I think we're good to go. You know what, since we're here, I just want to fix that. Okay, we're good to go. I'm not sure exactly where I want to start this, so I think I'm just going to come right here. Come on. There we go. I was hoping that would spread a little more. I'm just going to clear the grass out and all these clovers and stuff. Hey, a carrot. Where did that come from? And this is pretty much the exhibit. I don't know much about spider monkeys, but if we can get like maybe some vines to hang across from like here to the tree. And like I said, the tree will get bigger, so we'll see what happens with that. But for now, I think we're safe. Whoops, didn't want to do that. I think we're safe to go ahead and let these guys free. That net broke. And I did not want to place those torches there. No! No! No, that's not what I meant to do! <laughs> All you had to do was stay put. Get the torches out of my hand, let's try again. Alright, we got them in there, let's pretend like I didn't slap that one around a little bit. We'll just say that never happened. Um, but this is it guys, this is my new spider monkey exhibit. and. Wow, I feel like this episode took so long. 
mainly because I re had to restart this entire series in the single player world and kind of had to get back to where I was originally. But anyways, here's the spider monkey exhibit. Please leave a comment down below. Let me know what animal we should do next because they got all sorts of animals in this pack and we can do all of them. So without further ado, leave a like on this video and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye, everyone.